Hey Ebro fans, this is Todd. So I finally did it. I broke down and I got the Mondo Scare Glow Classic Variant. Now I know I talked about it in this video right here. You know what? I don't think mine glowed like that. Oh, did I get a different one? Are you serious? They had two? Yeah, this is the one I got. Man, that other one's way cooler looking. What the heck? I didn't see this one. Now I'm annoyed. This one would have been way cooler to get. Urgh. Man, I am bummed. Oh well, I'll check back in in an hour. Oh, look how cool, oh, even his back, are you kidding me? Even the toy didn't have ink on his back. Oh. Oh. Don't oh, paint me officially annoyed. He even glows good too, because the one I got does not really glow that great. Well, I'll be selling mine and I'll be scouring the internet for trying to find someone to sell it to me for cheap, but I doubt I'll find anybody to sell it for cheap. Man. And I could not believe that this figure actually exists when I already bought mine over here. I was like, what? This thing actually exists? I had no idea and I was all excited and I searched on eBay to find a really good price. And if you want, you can see the actual auction that I bought. I put a link in the description and check it out. See all the details, price I paid, the person that I bought it from, everything else. But right now, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up and see what we got. Um, first off, is uh, the guy who sold it to me just put it in this box. He did not wrap this box in another box. It was actually just this by itself. And so I was kind of annoyed because this is, this is not really made to be mailed in this way. Um, I mean, it does have some damage now. Luckily, I'm not a mint and box collector, but if I was, I would not be too happy with the damage on this box. Now I haven't left the guy feedback yet because I haven't opened it up to see what it looks like inside. So you guys will get to see for the first time just as if, well first time I've seen it too. So let's go ahead and get this thing open and I'll have to be careful not to cut too deep with these scissors because I do not want to slice the box on the inside. has a story in front here and let's take a look at that oh I'm knocking over my other Mondo scare glow so I've knocked over these little bricks everywhere and there's kind of his coat of arms 
And then it says, uh, in life, Noel was a shifty bounty hunter who spent years attempting to uh, break into Castle Grayskull. In death, he was cursed and banished into the dimension of Ifin Infinia. In, 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 in Fintia, in fin, Infinita, Infinita, forever chained to his past crimes. He was brought back to Eternia by a magical spell cast by Skinator to locate the most evil warriors in the five dimensions. Provided with a scythe of doom, Noah agreed to join the forces with Skeletor and quickly became known as Scareglow. Evil ghost serving Skeletor. Now, why this story is important is there was a time, because it says, uh, it used to say the evil ghost of Skeletor in the original packaging, and so people thought it was the ghost of Skeletor, not that it was a separate character altogether. And so there was a lot of debate online for years about this until uh, Classics came out and came up with the whole storyline of Noel and um, evil ghost serving Skeletor and everything else. All right, so it's time for the unveiling let's pull off this paper here Ooh. Ah, look at that click a tat okay it's we got to try the glowing out in the box where did I put my phone there it is all right lights off Whew. It is dark, dark. Now let's go ahead and fire up my... There we go. Oh, I didn't plug it in. Ah! Let me go ahead and find the end of this plug. Now I just threw all the boxes on top of the plug in. go it's plugged in it's ready to go let's light this thing right up dun, dun, dun. look at that he is glowing he is huge he is massive all right so let me set my giant glowy light down Let's get the lights back on and let's get this open. The lights on. Oh, bright light, bright light. Okay, so let's see here. It's like the top of this has been open, so I'll just re. <laughs> pretty cool and then normally this comes off and the key is supposed to go inside just like so and then it's supposed to be chained to his wrist it has a full loop on it so you have to, you have to pull his hand off to put it on there so that's pretty cool so there it is so I want to show you the ones that came with the classics one originally here's the original classics one and uh, it also uh, had a key inside. Here is the key. Now, I actually got two of these little uh, 
pieces here, but the second one was missing the key when I got it from the guy. He said, hey, it doesn't have the key, but it's still pretty cool. So I ended up creating my own key for it. I'm pretty sure this is the one. We aim this down a little bit. Yep, this is the 3D key I printed because you can tell because there's little white circles on the inside uh, from the paint when I tried to paint it and sand it. And it, it looks pretty similar to the original key. See, you can see the original versus my, my makeshift copy. This end looks a little bit different. So you can kind of see at this end, they are shaped quite a bit different. And you can see the 3D printer one's just a little bit rougher than uh, the original key. Um, when I was designing the other one to match it, I didn't quite make the proportions exactly right, but it's really close. You can see that this is wider across the bottom here, and this is wider across the top. But it's close enough that if someone only had one in their hand, they wouldn't know which is which. But when you have both in your hand, you can tell because the 3D printer one's rougher. And of course, my paint made those little white marks all inside the holes. I could have fixed it with throwing some black paint on it, but I chose not to as I want to be able to tell them apart. So I can tell which one is the the real one and which one is the one that I made. So let's go ahead and compare those castles. Pretty cool. I actually like the smaller one better. I like the way the tower looks in the smaller one actually better than the tower on the on the bigger one. As you can see they tried to add the the ridge on the bigger one, but they do have it on the smaller one too. I actually like the smaller one better. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought for sure because the bigger one was bigger that it would uh actually uh, be higher detail and better quality looking, but um, the Four Horsemen knocked this out of the park originally. And look at all the detail on there. Wow, those Four Horsemen really outdid themselves. All right, anyway, even though we have this cool thing, I'm not gonna put it on him, because I like to have him just uh, just a scythe. Let's get him out of there. He is big. He is beefy. That is one cool looking figure. He's heavy too. All right, now someone was complaining about the articulation with, with the, the Mondo figures, and I could see for the shoulders, there's really not a lot of articulation. Um, I usually buy these just to be statue-like figures that you can put in different poses. Um, I'm not sure I'm gonna use this figure. I like the idea of him becoming a giant. So basically, he starts off small and somehow eats a magic mushroom or something and grows. But I see now, even though it's based on the classics, the coloring is different. These are more bluish purple and these are more burgundy purple. So there is some differences in the coloring. I was hoping they'd be a little closer. Um, I was hoping he also had a spare head. He only comes with just one head. Wow, that neck peg is really small for that large head. That's funny. That's about the same size as a standard classics head. All right, we have to play. I'm sorry, you guys. I know you're waiting to see the rest of this video, but it's play time. Who? Oh. oh, look at that. That's funny. Dun, 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 dun. Now, this, of course, is the Origins one. I'm not going to pull the head off the classics. I don't want to accidentally break the head on, on the neck peg. Because we found that that plastic's kind of brittle on those figures. This one does not feel brittle at all. It feels kind of rubbery. So I think this figure is going to last even though it glows in the dark. So that is the coolness. Hmm. Not quite.
quite sure exactly how that's supposed to go. It's got wires in the cape to uh, position it the way you want, so. There you go. Now, of course, we're going to have to change his hands out because he can't hold his scythe with these fist hands. So let's go ahead and change out ooh, this hand here and give him this hand here. And if you guys know me, I like to put a creepy hand on this side or an open hand. So let's see what our choices are. I guess we only have one choice here. There it is, because really he doesn't punch. He's not the punching kind of character. He's more of a I will scare you character. So he gets the scary hand. Now I was hoping to slide this down on his hand, um, but it looks like I'm gonna have to pry his fingers open to get it in there. His hands are rubbery though, so it's not too bad. There we go. There we go. All right. There he is. All right. It is time to see his back, which I've actually been waiting for because of the website. And let's go ahead and flip his cape over. And you can see on his back, he has all kinds of cool markings. Look at that. Now, on the classics, we did get that. Look at that. I'm surprised. On the original figure, I don't think we had that. And also on the Origins, we don't have it either. So, uh, I have never really remembered the back being like that. That is cool. Okay. Even the back of the legs have black on it. Well, the Origins does not. And I don't think the original one did either. Wow. That's cool. Okay, it's time to make these guys glow. We can see whose glow glows more. How about that? We'll pull the other Mondo up too. Oh, oh, is that what you think of that man? Just knocked him right over. Oop, oop, oop. Don't do it. Stop knocking each other over. Battle time is not now. Okay, there we go. Now, I don't have the one from the 80s anymore. I did have one, but I ended up selling it because uh, the price was just going too high to keep it. And I'm like, oh. So, yes, I did sell out. Okay. Here we go. Lights off. Okay, done. All right, let's charge these guys up. Boom, 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 boom. Face forward, man. Face forward, man. What? His hands are different kinds of material. We'll see if it glows the same or not. I think her, his hands might be painted instead of, you can see the coloring difference. Maybe you can't. I can see it here live. Oh, well. let's finish charging these. All right, killing the lights. <laughs> We got a lot of glowing going on. Whole lot of glowing going on. Now, of course, the one that glows the best is the Origins. I kind of suspected that. The new Mondo does glow nicely. Um, the old Mondo one does not glow that great. And the Classics one, I used to think glowed good, but in comparison to uh, the other two, not so much. So the one that glows the worst is the original, which is funny because the original actually had better hands. So I may, you know what? I am, I am, I, I am going to do some swapping here. Lights on. Okay, done. Oh, I got some spare hands up here from before. Let's see if I can find them.
bag of parts. And I'm going to stick my original Scareglow's hands onto the new Scareglow. I think it'll just look better. Let's see what you guys think. Oh. Oops, that's the wrong side. Ugh. Oh yeah, it already looks better. It's even even the color matches better. I may have to go online and find someone just selling the Mondo hands. Let's see if I can't uh all right. Lights off. Just charge those right up. Yeah, it matches better even with the the glowing part of it. Cause see, you can see his hands are still glowing pretty good, cause they they actually made it out of glowing plastic, and the new ones like they're just painted. You can see the color difference there. This one's been sitting for a little while now, but this is from the new one where it's not as bright. On the hand part but on the connector it is because connector is made out of the right kind of material so i'm not sure what they did why they just didn't make it out of glow in the dark material why they had to just paint glow on it that really stinks but yet the other one actually has better hands so you know what dude you're gonna lose your right hand too <sighs> no, not my right hand. Yes, your right hand. Which stinks is because I was going to sell that other scare glow. But if I have to steal the hands away, I don't know if someone's going to want to buy a scare glow with missing hands from Mondo. I guess I put in the description is missing some hands, missing two hands. I'll give him the open left hand. Oh, I can still hold his scythe. This is his left hand instead. Okay. Let's put this in his hand. Ooh. Opening. Open your hand, dude. There we go. Let's see if this scythe goes in the dark at all. Oh, it does have a light glow to it. It's just extremely light, though. Yeah, that looks way better with the other guy's hands. The other dude. It doesn't grip as well though, so it may have a different, must be a different mold or something. I'm not sure. I didn't think it was the mold was different, but it must be because his hand does not hang on to that as well. Maybe I stretched it out from having it on the, on the other figure for so long. Stand up. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Charge him right up. Oh, yeah. He gets to keep those hands. That looks way better. Yeah, that scared girl. So, so much cooler looking. Anyway, there will be a live video after. So if you want to come join me um, after this video airs, we'll do a live video. 
where you guys can then uh, ask questions about it. I'll leave this all set up so we can answer questions. And uh, that's it for this one. Bye now. If you found it enjoyment, like, subscribe.